Hi there, it's Dr. Nadia, founder of the Doyen Agency, and Happy New Year! Welcome to 2020. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that 2020 is finally here. So as you are planning for 2020, looking at your sales plans, looking at how you're going to run your business, your revenue strategies. Everyone's all excited. New slate, new year, new decade. I wanted to share a few tips and strategies to help you really get your planning and your, particularly your sales planning off to a fabulous start. So the first thing I want you to, to really keep to do is to keep an eye on your cash flow. This is something that a lot of times if we're not careful um, especially with small business owners and solopreneurs, making sure that we keep an eye on the cash flow so that we don't run into issues later, right? We don't want to be part of that roller coaster, but it's really easy. You know, there's been time off during vacation or there are different times throughout the year that may be a little bit slower than others and it may impact our cash flow and which may then impact our ability to invest when we want to invest or do some of the things that we want to do in our businesses. So as we're looking at 2020 and the things that we want to do over, throughout this year and over the next decade or so, we really have to start looking at what does cash flow look like? What are the numbers that, I, what, how much do I really need not only to achieve my goals, but to keep my business running? The second thing is really closely tied to that. And that is to know your numbers. <laughs> keep an eye, not only keep an eye on cash flow, but knowing your numbers knowing how many people you need to get enrolled in a particular program, knowing what your marketing budget looks like, knowing what your conversion rates are for sales, knowing how much revenue is actually right now sitting in your pipeline. That's a big one. How many, you know, what is the actual time sometimes that it takes? What does that sales cycle look like so that you can close the deals? What is that number or at an average rate of time? Who are the people that you need to to follow up with. How many of those folks are there? So I want you to take some time to really get clear on the numbers and really understanding what those numbers mean and how they impact your planning for 2020 and beyond. The third thing is to pay attention to the trends from the previous year, or better yet, if you have the data from the previous decade, right? What are some of those trends that you may find to be consistent in your business. So for example, for one of my clients that we, our agency provides done for you sales support, um, during the fall, so no, during Q4, I should say, things start to slow down. <laughs> it is a, a slow time in terms of just some of the, how people are responding to marketing or applying to programs or even new revenue. So one of the things that we have to do as a team is to not only recognize that as a trend, and it wasn't just 2019, like this was a trend as we look at the year over year data, is as we're looking at 2020, we have a couple options. One, we can just plan that we need to hit a certain revenue target in the first nine months of this year so that it will make up for the deficit that may come in Q4. Or we adjust what we do in Q4 in order to hit those numbers. So there may be some new offerings that we provide. We may adjust the launch schedule or whatever the case may be. But you have to really pay attention to those numbers because if not, it will definitely come back to haunt you. And now that you have historical data, definitely pay attention to those trends so that, again, A, you could just be prepared. So you just have cash on hand, again, going back to cash flow. So you have the cash available to sustain you, or you make adjustments and tweaks to your marketing and your advertising and your sales in order to hit those goals during that particular season or slow period. The fourth thing is really thinking about what are some potential market changes. So when I talk about market changes, it may be in, uh, based on industry. You know, especially that this is an election year, lots of things start to change, certain things stay the same until after the election. Doesn't matter. So you want to pay attention. There are certain things that may be going on in your industry, whether it's locally in your area, in your state, 
Um, so you want to pay attention to what those things might be. There's been a lot of talk about a potential recession. How might that impact your business? And what can you do in order to protect your, yourself and your business should something either positive or negative? Because sometimes we're not ready for the positive either. But you want to start to pay attention to that. So keep your ear to the ground. What are your trusted publications for your industry that are that's helping you to stay on top of that and keep track. Now, I know I am all for put your head down, get things done, make things happen. And there are also times we need to pick our heads up <laughs> and pay attention to these things because you don't want to be caught off guard. And as the leader of your company, as you're guiding and leading your team, you guys need to be prepared to start having these conversations. And what are some of the things that you're seeing? What are some of the industry shifts? What are some of the things that maybe you're seeing based on the data that you guys have collected over the years that no one else is talking about. So you can leverage that even in your own marketing to be the one to bring these things up in your market and bring awareness to it in the marketplace. And then the final thing is what new products or services are you launching this year or over the next decade? And again, what are some of the things that it takes to launch a new product? Now, I know we have a lot of ideas. If you're anything like me, I have lots, lots and lots and lots of ideas of things that I can do, products I can launch, but I also know that I can't do them all at once and I need to have some type of strategy around it. The other thing is, under, again, understanding your business, your market, and what does it take from a marketing perspective, an advertising perspective, to get all those pieces in place so that you can then do a realistic or a more accurate snapshot of what your revenue for the next year or so will look like as you're looking at your projections. So these are just a few tips to help you get the year started off strong, staying focused, but also being really clear when it comes to your planning on what are the things that I can do to really help get this year off to a roaring start so that I can just surpass all of my goals for 2020. I, um, I got a message from a client uh, a couple days ago and I was so excited because we more than doubled. I knew we had more than doubled, right, her annual revenue, but then we got the final number and I was like, ah! right? So these are the things that can really change. I'm telling you, change the results. Set those goals high. Put together a plan to actually achieve those goals and trust that things will work out. But there are things that we have to do. And one of the things is that awareness. So again, really quick, keep an eye on your cash flow. Know your numbers. Know what trends you saw on 2019 or even the previous decade based on the amount of data that you have. And then what are some potential market changes that may be coming your way in 2020 or beyond? And finally, what are new product uh, or services that you're launching this year? Or even what are some of the ones that you're deciding to get rid of? I met with my team at the end of December and there's some things we decided to cut, like we're just not doing that anymore. So that may be the same for you, but if we're cutting out that revenue, then how are we gonna make up for it with maybe something else that we're launching? All right, so some great tips for you. Wanted to share those really quick. Again, happy new year. Super excited for 2020. Can't wait to see how things go this year and what it has in store for us. This is Dr. Nadia with the Doyen Agency signing off. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.